Hello and thank you for tuning in to the Annexion YouTube channel. Today's video is about Office 365 SharePoint sites, both the team site as well as your OneDrive site, which was formerly named SkyDrive Pro. What we're going to do today is help you get your computer set up for working with the SharePoint sites. Everything we do today must be done in Internet Explorer. I realize many of you may use Chrome or Firefox as I do. However, for today's activities, we do need to use Internet Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer here. Now when we migrate you to Office 365, we typically make your SharePoint address be your company name dot SharePoint dot com. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my SharePoint site here. And it's going to ask me to log in to the portal just as it did the very first time you logged into the Microsoft Office 365 portal. It uses the same your email address and your portal password. And we strongly recommend you check mark this box that says keep me signed in. It will not prompt you quite so often to uh, do logins like this and it will help the synchronization work a little bit better a little later on in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and we'll be taken directly to our SharePoint team site. Yours will look something like this. Now we've added some more document libraries so you may not see this many items here but at very least you'll probably have tasks and documents and a few other things like that. What we're really interested in today is getting your browser set up first to interact correctly with the SharePoint sites. So one of the first things we do once we're logged into your SharePoint site is we're going to go to the Internet options in Internet Explorer. That can either be done with the gear here and choosing Internet options or if you have your menus showing in Internet Explorer, you can go to Tools and down at the bottom look for Internet options. Once you're in the Internet options screen, you're going to go to Security, you're going to click Trusted Sites, then you're going to click Sites, and it will automatically populate your SharePoint site right here, and we want to add that as a trusted site, which basically tells Internet Explorer that you trust this site and it's not a spyware or a malware site. And now we're going to hit Close, and we're going to hit OK, and we're going to do that exact same thing one more time in OneDrive. OneDrive has a slightly different address. It's almost the same, but you'll notice it adds the word my right up here. Because OneDrive, unlike the team site, only you have access to your OneDrive. OneDrive is not a place for you to share documents with other people. It's a cloud-based storage for your personal items only. Please use the team site for team sharing of documents. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to basically go to Tools, Internet Options, and follow the same steps. Security trusted sites, click the sites button and again it will have pre-populated my OneDrive address there and I will add that, hit close, OK and I'm all done. So let's go back to the team sites. I can do that by clicking sites and then the team site logo here and I'm back in the team site we were in a little bit earlier. Now one of the things we get asked quite often when people migrate to Office 365 is what's the best way for me to copy my documents up to the documents library, maybe from your server or your desktop. So as you can see in this documents library, I've created a company files folder and inside there, there's some files. You have the ability with this new document link to create a new folder and give it a name. So I'll just call this test. Whoops. I'll just call this test and it creates a new folder called test. Uh, I can also upload existing files here and it'll basically go to my computer and I can browse to the server or to my computer and upload files this way. And however that's one at a time and it's for files only. Another way to do this is to make the Internet Explorer window a little bit smaller and it has the ability for you to literally pick up documents and drag them right into the SharePoint site. So if I wanted this in the company folder Basically, I could drill into the company files folder here and then pick up this document and drag it right in there and it would go there. So it uploads and there it is. So that is one way to do it. Um, however, again, that can't, that's only for files and it can't be used with folders. If I try to do that with a folder, it will give me an error and say, sorry, that didn't work. This only works for files. So 
many times people ask me, how do I, I've got a lot of folders I need to copy a lot of data up there. How do I do it? The very best way to do it is once you're in your documents library, click the library tab and look for open with explorer. This is the key right here. Now it'll take a moment to open, so be patient. But once it opens, it will actually open your SharePoint document library in a standard Windows Explorer window. If you see this semi-invisible forms folder, please leave it. It's a required folder for SharePoint. Don't mess with it. It'll, it will, uh, it'll make things not work correctly if you mess with that folder. But you can see, I can see my company files folder there and I can see my test folder there. Once I have this window open, I can literally shrink out of the SharePoint site and now I can drag entire folders up there. So I can go inside the test folder, I can grab this whole thing, I can drag it in there, I can drag other folders in there, let's grab this one here, and so on, and they'll all copy right on up. We recommend you don't grab 7,000 files all at once and drag them to this window because your computer will be tied up for a while and it's having to copy all that over your internet connection which is going to take your internet connection to a crawl for a few hours. So we recommend you just do a few folders at a time. So now that I've copied those up there, and as you can see, it's very easy. It works just like a Windows Explorer menu. Um, I can now go back to the site, and you'll see if I refresh. Let me go back to Browse and do a refresh here. Uh, all those items will be there now. If I go in the test folder, there's the Office 365 demo folder and so on. So again, that's under Library, Open with Explorer. That's the window you want, and that allows you to literally just drag files from your folders right into the site without even having to deal with uploads and things like that. Now, your SharePoint team site has the ability to do synchronization, sort of like a Dropbox or our ShareIt product which means all the files and folders in this documents library can be automatically synced to your local My Documents folder. This makes it really easy to work on items. You're no longer having to deal with the website or the cloud or this SharePoint site. You can literally work locally right into the synced folder and any changes you make there will sync directly up to the cloud. All you do is make sure you're in your documents library that you want to sync and you'll click the sync button over here. Once I click that, a number of things will happen. You'll either get prompted for an installation of the Synchronize app, which is sometimes called OneDrive app or SkyDrive app, or sometimes it's called Groove. And if you get that prompt to install, go ahead and run or install. Since mine's already installed, I get the Sync Now button here. I'm going to go ahead and click the Sync Now button. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask me a few questions, since this is the very first library I'm syncing. It's going to say, do you want to sync the library documents from the Nexion team site? And we will save the library here. And it's going to default to your user profile folder. We recommend you leave it there, but you do have the ability to change that to another location if you want. Again, I'm just going to leave it right there and say sync now. What this is going to do is this is going to create this folder structure on my own machine. And it says your files are syncing as we speak. I can even take a look at them. If I say show my files, notice it created a new shortcut here called SharePoint. And inside there, I have my documents library. And if I open that up, I will see it's syncing down the files and folders that were in, those, in that library. The green check mark means synchronization is done. And if you see some blue arrows, it means it's still syncing. So those are already done. It's very quick. And and now I can literally work directly out of this folder right out of my own machine. I can sync as many of these document libraries as I want, including my OneDrive. So for instance, if I go to another document library we've created called Product Guides, and I click the Sync button and hit Sync Now, it's going to basically say, go ahead, and I, say, I hit the Sync Now button, it will get ready it will create the folder structure that we need. And as soon as it's done, if I say show my files, now under the SharePoint site, I have both document libraries, documents and product guides. And if I double click that, I'll see all those folders and files syncing to my machine now. So my machine will remain perfectly in sync with the document library in the cloud. The arrows mean synchronization is taking place. The green check marks mean that synchronization on those documents is done. I'll do the same thing with my OneDrive site. 
I'll click OneDrive, and once I'm in the OneDrive site, I'll click Sync. Sync now. Sure enough, once I say OK, it will create that folder structure. And if I say Show My Files, now I have basically a OneDrive for business, and that those items will start syncing shortly as well. So I have my SharePoint team sites, and I have my OneDrive for business. And in a few moments, all of these files on my OneDrive will start syncing down to my local machine here. It's simply busy syncing the other documents right now. So those will just show up, and I'm literally all done with the site. I don't need to worry about that anymore. I can now work directly out of my Windows Explorer, which means just like normal, I can open up documents from here, I can do what I need to do and just work locally as if I didn't have to worry about the cloud at all. Anything I do here will sync up to the cloud, and anybody else synced with the document library will get those changes automatically. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and once again, thank you for tuning into the Inexion YouTube channel. Have a great day.